everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to talk about how to get into the oil and gas industry without a petroleum engineering background. Before we get to the content, please be sure to like this video. Subscribe so you can get content in oil and gas and professional development topics. And please be sure to comment on the video below on the YouTube platform so I can incorporate your feedback into future videos. Please be sure to hit that notification bell as I upload every Friday and every Sunday. Every Friday is a professional development topic and every Sunday is a technical review. I have a special announcement to make, so stick to the end of this video and you'll know what it is. Now, let's get to the content. A few weeks ago, I received a YouTube comment talking about someone who came from the construction business and wants to enter into the oil and gas industry. He was asking me what route to take. Should he go back to school for a master's degree or should he continue looking for work in the oil and gas industry? Well, I'm here today to provide some advice on if you're in the same boat or in a similar situation, how to enter the oil and gas industry without having a petroleum engineering background. The first piece of advice I'm going to give, and you've heard this so many times if you've watched my videos, but joining a professional society that is dedicated to petroleum engineering. Society of Petroleum Engineers is one of the largest organizations for oil and gas that you can get into. Once you figure out what kind of network you want to get into within SPE, whether if it's technical or professional skills, then you can start making your way to developing those networks that you need in order for you to get that job. Networking is key in order for you to get what you want in term, and I'm not trying to mean it in a transactional way. It's a form of building relationships in order to get to the desired location that you want in your career. That's really what I meant to say. By joining a professional society, you'd be able to create those contacts that can help you get closer and closer to your dream if you want to pursue a career in the oil and gas industry. The next piece of advice I will give if you don't want to take the networking route is take courses that will help you develop skills that are transferable into the oil and gas industry. What I mean to say is, on your resume, you need to show that you have some experience in working in teams that are similar to those that you'll find in the oil and gas industry. With the message that I got from before working in construction, construction can be similar in that you have to go on location, you have to learn how to work with a team, you need to learn to work with other people with different kinds of personalities, and that's very similar to that of the oil and gas industry. The oil and gas industry is very diverse in the sense that you get to work with many personalities. You get to work on location as well. But if you don't have a profession or a background that is anywhere near to that of the oil and gas industry, then I would suggest taking courses that are transferable skills. Examples are data science regulatory, and even finance, you name it. Check out the videos that I have in my YouTube channel in terms of alternative career paths to petroleum engineering, and you can reverse engineer this in terms of how to get the career you want in petroleum engineering if you don't have the background. By looking at the careers that I showed that are alternates to the oil and gas industry, you can work backwards. That's what I mean in terms of getting the career that you want in this industry. The last piece of advice I'm going to give regarding this topic is pursuing studies that are related to petroleum engineering. This is for people who are willing to invest the time in additional education. And it doesn't have to be going back to school for a bachelor's degree or going back to school for a master's degree. It could be taking courses, petroleum extension school courses. University of Texas has 
is a great example. Texas A&M has, has a Petroleum Engineering Certificate, a Petroleum Engineering Venture Certificate. And I'll provide those links in the description below as a start if you want to take that path. By getting to the direct point of taking classes that are related to petroleum engineering will give you your best bet in having the background, having the skill set, having the perspective that is needed to get a job in the oil and gas industry. This is probably the most obvious solution, but I wanted to save it for last because this is really for people who are willing to invest the time in the additional education in petroleum engineering. And that's a wrap, everyone. This is my answer to the question on how to enter the oil and gas industry without having a petroleum engineering background. And I did say that I had an announcement. Well, remember that I said that I would upload every Friday and every Sunday? That's gonna change. Considering that I'm starting my MBA program and my weekends will be occupied, I will be uploading once a week, either on a professional development topic or a technical review. I will still upload the same kind of content, but it was going to be at a different frequency. I'm now going to be focusing on questions that you provide to me, whether if it's through the comments or through my direct messages on my social media platforms. Because I realize that the questions that I end up answering tend to be the ones that other people have as well. That being said, please be sure to like this video, subscribe so you can get more content in oil and gas and professional development topics, and please be sure to comment on this video so I can incorporate your feedback into future videos. Thanks so much for taking the time to watch this video, and I'll see you in the next one.